I will now demonstrate the switchboard. And as I said uh, in an earlier video, the point is to really tell the examiner what switch controls what. So that's what we're gonna do. So first of all, we will adjust all seven mirrors. The student review mirror over here is adjusted manually. Then the flat mirrors and convex mirrors on each side are, are on each side are controlled with these knobs over here. You see the, these two knobs. So each knob controls one. Um, flat mirror and one convex mirror so if over here this controls the mirrors to my left so if I put the knob in the left position that will uh, control my flat mirror just like this so I make sure it's adjusted properly then I put the same knob to the right position to do the same with my convex mirror just like this then when I'm done I put it in the center position to secure you know the way I position my mirrors and then I do the same with the other knob I do the same with the flat and convex mirrors to my right just like this okay then the cross view mirrors that are near my bumper in front of me, I adjusted them before I started the test. They're adjusted manually. Then this over here, this is the light monitor. This over here, this is the switch for the service door. So when I put it in this position, the door is closed. When I put it this way, the door is open. So I close it back because then I want to demonstrate the switch for my amber eight-way flashing lights. So when I press that switch, my amber eight-way flashing lights will come on, and the and that's it. And we can see over here the indicator shows that the amber. Uh, flashing lights are on we see the same in the light monitor and if I look in my cross view mirrors we can see through the in the mirrors that my eight way flashing amber flashing lights are on and then when I open the door I will open the service door and the uh, flashing eight or flashing lights will switch from amber to red so I open the door and then we see that the red eight or flashing lights are on over here the indicator shows uh, so and then that's the same over here if we look in the light monitor and if we look in the cross view mirrors we see the same also, at the same time, as I open the door, the uh, stop sign extended. The student cross arm extended as well. And the stairway light came on. Stairway and entry light came on. And then when I close the, door, the service door, all these lights will come up and the student cross arm and the stop sign will retract. So that's exactly what's going on. That's what happens. Then these switches over here, those are for my dome lights. So this switch over here for the dome lights behind me, the student uh, dome lights, I can see it in the back and I can see it if I look in my student review mirror. And the driver dome light right above me with this switch over here. These two switches over here, 
those switches are for the heaters so that heater over here is the for the heater in the back and I listen and I can hear that it's functioning uh, well then I do the same for the other switch the other switch is for the heater that is right next to the stairway and I can hear it and when I extend my my hand my arm I can feel I can feel it as well okay this over here this is a switch for the the defrost driver uh, fan right over here I can fill the air with my hand so I know it works properly okay then these over here these switches are for my AC so I have a switch over here I can hear it actually if I if I reset everything then I can hear it but not that loud but if you need a higher intensity you use this one here and I hear that it's much more intense okay then this switch over here this is for the strobe light so off and on for the strobe light then if I look over here those switches over here that's for my defrost and my air conditioning so if this over here I can adjust to defrost I can the middle knob then the knob the, or switch that is to the right is to adjust you know whether I want to have a warm or cool air I will leave it in the warm on the warm side over here then over here I can choose the intensity so right now my defrost should shoot warm air if I put my hands over here if I extend my, my hands I can feel it very well then I can adjust you know depending on what else I need if I just want to have uh, ventilation then now I can feel the ventilation or if I won't even want the air conditioning up front just like I, I just did for the back then I select these over here and that's what I get for the front This pretty much, you know, uh, sums it up for the switchboard.